hey, first, everybody. For our first question, we'll go to Alex Stacy. Hey, Jake, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes here. Um, so, you know, putting together that big performance and, uh, you know, kind of this being your first, you know, really big game since uh, coming off of your, you know, your ACL tear, what did it feel like out there to, 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 to put that together? And, uh, and I guess, what, uh, what were you seeing out, you know, what were you seeing, what were they giving you out there? Um, I mean, it was great. Um, the whole time it was, a, it was a fun game back and forth. Um, and really, you know, I was seeing open holes. Um, my, the five linemen up front did a great job and tight ends too, blocking. And then also the receivers down the field. I mean, it, it was a collective team effort. Um, I'm just the one who gets credit for the rushing yards, but it's, it's all 11 guys blocking. Go to Emily. Hi, Jake. Um, just as an offense to be able to do this, I think, you know, over 600 yards after last week, um, how much does that help you confidence wise moving forward? Oh, it gives us great confidence. Um, last week we came out and laid an egg. Um, we knew we were better than that. Um, you know, Coach Loxley preaches it all the time that we just needed a spark. Um, we, we've been playing well. We knew we were capable of that the whole time and really just, you know, it, it's going to just keep snowballing for us and we're going to come in next week and work even harder and get ready for Penn State, right? Right, Dustin, Penn State? Yeah, get ready for Penn State. Um, but, you know, we're going to enjoy this one. Um, it was definitely a big one for all of us and we're going to keep moving. And, and what was Talia like um, just in terms of leading the offense through those critical moments and then just even within plays when he was kind of navigating uh, pressure and getting out of those bad situations? Oh, he's, he's great. Um, he's, he's so smart in the pocket. Um, he does a great job um, identifying pressures. Um, and I mean, he's, he's done a, you know, he, he's a game manager along with him just balling out um, in the passing game. You know, he, he played well, and he, we all knew he was a lot better than his performance last weekend. And, you know, today was the day that he came out and um, really showed what he can do for us. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. We'll go to Andy Costa next. Hey, Jake. Uh, your brother was a big part of your uh, recovery. Uh, have you had a chance to check the phone at all? Any messages from your family? Um, yeah, I, I call my family right after the game. Um, call my mom, my mom, my dad, um, my older brother, and then his fiance were at the game. And um, all of them were together. And I called them all and just thanked them all because um, – you know, the amount of time and effort that each one of them has put into me over the last couple of years, um, going through what I've gone through. Um, and it's really, you know, my family was there um, when, you know, I'm sitting in a hospital bed crying, whether, you know, debating whether or not my football career is going to be end or is going to end or not. Um, and really, you know, those, those individuals were there for me at my lowest and will continue to be there for me for all highs and all lows. Will you get a chance to see them in person all tonight, or is it just purely phone? Um, yeah, I, maybe not tonight, but I, I hope to go home sometime this weekend and see my parents. Go to Lila. Hey, Jake. Um, mm. You know, being able to mount a 17-point comeback in the fourth quarter, just what does that say about the character of this group? Um, we have a really, really gritty team. Um, a lot of people um, don't realize that about us. We got to fight, and that's kind of what we've always preached um, throughout camp and throughout you know the season. Is we just got to play gritty, and it's a four quarter game regardless. Regardless if you're down thirty, if you're down ten, it's a four quarter game, and just play every every snap um, like a new down. Um, and then you know on top of that, just being able to you know have the 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 leadership and have the guys in the game the whole entire game and not check out just because we're down a couple scores. And walk me through what that was like in the, in the locker room after the game, just, you know, being able to celebrate. It was crazy. Um, you know, for a lot of guys, a lot of, you know, our team's put in a lot of time and a lot of effort. And to win like that in that kind of fashion and overtime on a Friday night, 
um, it's exactly what our team needed. Um, and, you know, after the game, the locker room was crazy as expected. Um, but, you know, we, you know, we preached that, you know, we got to be smart this weekend, obviously. Um, you know, can't come back and have guys test positive. We still got more games to play. And I mean, it's just, you know, keep, keep the ball rolling. Was there a favorite moment for you just from that celebration? Um, just running on the field when he, you know, missed the kick. Um, just un, you know, realizing that we won the game, and just being on the field with my teammates and everybody um, out there that's put in so much time and effort um, into making us win. Thank you. No problem. We have time for two more for Jake. We'll go to Ed Lee. Jake, how much do you pride yourself on be, being able to pick up uh, blitzes? Oh, I pride myself a lot. Um, I sit in the film room a lot and do do a lot of studies. Um, a lot of those blitz protect uh, blitz pickups, you know, were a combination of me and Leah. Leah does a great job in the pocket identifying blitzes, and it makes it so much easier for me to pick it up. Um, but you know, I take pride in being able to protect the quarterback. Um, that's you know, that's that's part of being a running back. It's part of you know the game that we play is being able to take hits off of our quarterback and keep him healthy. Um, so I you know I take a lot of pride in that. For our last one, we'll go to Alif. Hey, Jake, major game for you today. Um, kind of the last thing I wanted to end off on this on was just your feeling, uh, how you felt through the game, you know, to start off scoring the first touchdown, then as it's kind of going, the moments of doubt you might have to finally end off on such a strong note. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was an emotional roller coaster the whole entire time. Um, we came out hot, um, scored back to back to back. Then went, you know, got got stopped a couple times. Our our defense wasn't doing that well in that time, and they, they were they were you know giving our defense a good uh, you know run for their money. But then ultimately at the end of the game, when we needed it most, our defense stepped up and our offense made plays. And um, you know we couldn't we couldn't ask for more. Um, we you know we told our defense they just needed to get us the ball back, and we're, we'll go down there and handle our business. And both both uh, sides of the ball um, did a good job, and I mean it, it showed. Thanks, Jake. Thank you, everybody.